Hello, and thank you for calling the service desk. My name is Chris, and today we're going to talk about what to do when one of the Office 365 applications isn't launching. Now, this pertains particularly to Excel, Word, and PowerPoint. Outlook is also included in this, um, but we're not going to cover that today. So, if you're using Microsoft Word, particularly if you're using it in a corporate environment, there are many scenarios where sometimes the application just won't launch or the application crashes as soon as it's launched and this method is going to help you resolve a lot of those problems and it's a very common problem that we see quite frequently here at the service desk uh, it usually has to do with add-ins which are all these little like hooks and little smaller applications that latch into these Microsoft Office programs that help them do things that are usually fairly particular to your environment, but they can get disabled for a number of reasons and cause various problems within Word, Excel, Outlook, and PowerPoint. Um, fortunately, it's usually pretty easy to solve, and I'm going to walk you through how to do that right now. So what you're going to want to do is locate um, the icon for the particular application that you're having a problem with, and in this case I'm going to use PowerPoint as the example. And what you want to do is hold down the control button on your keyboard. It's usually in the far bottom left corner of your keyboard. Um, there's also one on the right hand side of the keyboard, but let's find the control key on the left side of the keyboard. Hold that down and double click the icon for the application, PowerPoint in this instance. And what you'll wind up getting is you'll get a, a little notification mine has popped up on another screen here I'll move it over for you that says you're holding down the control key do you want to start PowerPoint in safe mode and we want to say yes what will happen then is the application will open up with all add-ins disabled and that's kind of counterintuitive to what we're about to do but what we want to do is hit file and go down to options from this screen here click the add-ins tab and then scroll down here to this little drop down box and switch to disabled items. Click that, select go, and this smaller window will pop up. And any items that the application has disabled for whatever reason will be listed in this box. I generally recommend that you enable anything that you find here regardless of what it is. Enable all of them because when some of these add-ins get disabled they can cause the office programs to do all kinds of weird things or be unstable crash frequently or not launch at all so once you go ahead you'll select the items from the list you'll click enable and then you can close this window you can select OK on this window and then close the application altogether you can then relaunch the program just by double clicking on it like you would normally and relaunch the application this fixes a lot of really weird problems that you have with Office uh, 365 and earlier versions if you're using add-ins. And like I said, if you're working in a corporate environment, the possibility that you're using add-ins is pretty likely. So that's it for this tutorial. Uh, if you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to the service desk. The number can be found on the company intranet site, and you can email us and also contact us through the portal. Thank you very much, and you have a great day. Bye-bye.